Ah, <laughs> Why is it we can't get better at this game? Hello and welcome back to the Snooker Shed. And tonight's video is going to be short, but it's going to be a hard one to take. What we're going to look at is why we're not improving in snooker. And what I've found here at the Snooker Shed, my biggest problem, unfortunately, was me. I saw snooker on the TV and that was the end of it. So, where are we going to go with this? Let's look at one of the most famous things that's happened just recently. One of the greatest players that's ever picked up a cue decided that his tip was to blame, so he bit it off. Why did he bite it off? Maybe not because there was something wrong with the tip, but certainly because he was blaming something for the way he was playing. So how many times have we been at the club and we've blamed the balls? How many times have we blamed the table not running straight? How many times have we blamed the noise in the background? Blamed the tip on our cue? Blamed the opponent's luck? All this blame pushed away from who is really the problem, and that's yourself. It wasn't until here at the snooker shed I decided to look inwards at why I'd missed a specific shot. Oh, what happened there? I definitely felt like I did not cue that. That, that was not cued well. Yeah, I definitely didn't cue that straight. I really need to work on my straight cueing if I got want to be a better player. Nah, nah, man. That was a great shot. You got a massive, massive kick there. Listen, you're a great player and you cue straight. That was a great shot. It wasn't your fault, big man. See, I knew I was a good snooker player and I knew I cued straight. Cheers, big man. Thanks, pal. So, there you go. A wee introduction to my Mr. Ego here at the Snooker Shed. And that's a conversation I've had in my head many times here. But it's not good for your learning. It is so obstructive to learning good snooker if someone's telling you lies and you're believing them. And that's what my ego was doing. It was telling me I was much better than I really was. Hence, it was just making excuses for the things that were going wrong that weren't me. And once I killed that ego and said, yes, I need to work hard on putting, I need to work hard on straight cueing and all the things that you need to work hard on to get better at snooker, it made learning much quicker and much easier. So I did say it was going to be a tricky video and it's probably going to be one of the biggest challenges that you out there are going to have to face. It is really tough. but. If you can do it, you're going to be a much better player much quicker. Once again, thank you very much for watching here at the Snooker Shed. If you like what we're doing, press that like button and hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for watching. And listen, this is Dave Daly from Seattle, and I hope to see you on the table. Oh.